Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Handed Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we are working on a John Deere D125, and today I'm going to show you how to remove the mower deck, in my opinion. The tools that we need, uh, I do have a lot of comments stating that they use, um, instead of the pry bar, they use uh, some wood under there to get the slide the mower deck out, which is fine. I use a pry bar, a pair of needle nose pliers just to get the clips out. So the first thing you want to do is put your emergency brake on, lock it in, so the machine will not go anywhere and put the mower deck all the way down as far as you can go. If you can do this on asphalt or concrete, it'll be a little bit easier to slide it in and out. And again, some people have commented that they just use a piece of plywood or wood or whatever you want to do. So however you can get the job done, slide it out is how you do it. So what I'm going to do is I take off the front clip, take off the front clip to the mower right here. And it's just a little, I call them a, either a bow tie clip or a butterfly clip. They're very easy to come off and they're, they actually work very nicely. If you have the original hardware, you should have a washer also. And now this is pretty stiff right here. And this is where my pry bar comes in. What I'll do is I'll stick a pry bar underneath the front and pick up on the mower deck just a little bit. And that gives it nice and easy to come out. And then I just take the bar out. Now at this point, if you're going to just take the mower deck off and you're going to put it back on again, you can leave this bar in. But if you're going to be, you know, have the mower deck off for a while, definitely take this bar out of the front because you can jackknife it. It will bend the bar and you don't want that to happen. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Okay, so I'm on the right hand side and we have a bar that comes down from the mower deck that goes up to the frame. And you're just going to take the clip out right here and you should have a washer on it. And I usually use my thumb and just pull out the rod and then the washer will fall in my hand like so. Then you're going to come back to the rear here where we have a rear hanger. Now just pay attention to which way this hanger is hanging. It actually has a little loop in it and the loop is facing rearward. So you just want to make sure when you put it back on again. And I also, I'll, um, Right, right, I'll put an R or an L in Black Magic Marker just so I know the adjustment on this side is going to be back where it was. They're easily switched because they're the same part. So if you write R and L for right, left, and right, it'll actually keep you organized and your adjustment back where it was. Right now we have tension on this. So again, I'm going to use my pry bar and just lift up slightly on it. And that'll come right off the top here. And then turn it 90 degrees and it'll pop out. It's like a little puzzle right here. And basically you just have to go. Let's go a little puzzle right there. You just have to go 90 degrees, turn it straight up, and then face the U in the backward position before you put back on. Okay, at this point, we're gonna go to the other side. Okay, so now we're on the other side, and we're on the left side, and here is the hanger again. And this also has a cable that's kind of interfering in a way, because we're gonna drop out the washer in my hand, like so. Now, this cable, we have to take off. There's a little clip right here that you just have to kind of push with your fingertips and it pops open like that. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and take off the rear hanger here. I'm just gonna turn, I turn these sideways to get them to come off a little bit easier and pull up on them and take your washer off. Now also there's, there's tension on this one here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just lift up with my left arm, lift up the front of the mower deck and that'll allow me to slide this off. Turn it 90 degrees, take it out. Now before we slide the mower deck out, we're gonna take off the belt from the mower deck. Now there are two guides right here and they look like a U-shaped guide. You gotta make sure that when you put this back together again that the belt is in between these guides. There's one on this side and there's one on that side. But to take it off, you just have to kind of pull it up over the guide. You can poke it down, go around the other side, take it off and there's your belt. Now we do have to slide this out slightly because we have a cable that we just disconnected. The cable has a Pin is right here, and you just have to pull the pin. And then you can pull this cable out by hand, and it'll come right out of a slot right here. And this is an older machine, and it actually has a, it actually, this, this can be adjusted. There's not much adjustment, but people are all, always asking me, how do you adjust the, the blade tension? Well, the blade tension, the belt tension, and the belt tension is just by spring loaded. This spring here is the only tension. When you engage it, that spring, Puts a tension on it. Now we can bring it out a little bit more, just so you can see how this is. Now this is a different style. Some of them have a U-clip that goes in here. This is actually, you have, it's like a 90 degree, you see how this is right here? Okay, so how it goes in is from the top and then it just slides in like 90 degrees. That's how it is. Some of them are like this. Some of them are actually bigger and they have like U-hooks on the end and you just clip them in. But you have to remember to come through your brake here and underneath your belt. So make sure that when you take this out and put it back in, it goes in exactly the same way. I'm going to show you that in a second. I usually just 
Put that out of the way somewhere. Okay, all you have to do is slide it out. And that pretty much sums it up, taking the motor deck off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall it for you guys. Uh, while you have the motor deck out, if you're doing any kind of service on it, I highly would suggest taking these covers off, cleaning out from underneath the covers. Also, they have grease fittings underneath there on the mandrels for these pubs, which is great. And uh, just make sure you, you keep them greased and uh, they'll last a long time, the bearings on the hubs. So let's go ahead and put it back in again. Just gonna slide it in. I'm only gonna go in about halfway because I'm gonna remember to put your cable back on. Cable's gonna go underneath the belt and underneath your blade rod right here. And this one has that 90 on it, so we have to go up from the top and then down in, and that's all it does, just sits in like that. I'm gonna pull this back out like so, just clip it in there, and then you put your one pin, there's a hole in the clip. There you go, clips in. We go ahead and push it under all the way. Oops. At this point, I normally start with the, the front rod here. I take it off first and I'll put it on first when I put the motor deck back on again. It just makes it easier for me. So I either rock the machine back to the motor deck or you can bring the motor deck to the rod. Slide that in. Put your clip, put your washer on and then your pin. I always face the pins facing rearward, just in case you hit something, they don't pop out. So if you have them reversed, they can pop out. These are really good clips though, they usually don't pop out. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and put the belt on since I'm here. Just gonna put it on, make sure it's in between the U, put it into the V. I'm just going around the other side with my hand and feeling where the, where the other U-shaped U guide is and I'm gonna make sure it already is in. Okay, it's good there. And you always want to make sure that your belt is lined up on your pulleys, and then we're going to engage it when we're done. So we have a cable sitting here. We're going to go ahead and put it up into its holster. It's got a little clip. I'm going to lock that in. We're going to go ahead and put this the metal arm up for the mower deck. We're going to go ahead and slide that on. We have a washer. And you might have to manipulate the deck around a little bit to get these arms to stay where they should be. I'm gonna face the pin in the rear position, like that. I'm gonna go ahead to our rear hanger. I'm gonna slide it in there. I'm gonna go ahead and lift up the mower deck a little bit because obviously it's not gonna, roll, the mower deck's all the way down, the handle's all the way down. So I'm just gonna lift up the mower deck and just hang it on there. washer and then your pin just like so I'm gonna go around to the other side and lift up the center handle once you once you get one side on the other side usually goes on fairly easily most of the time just washer facing my pin rearward like so we have the rear hanger here. We're gonna go ahead and 90 degrees. Make sure it's facing, that U is facing rearward. I'm just gonna lift it up a little bit, put it on. Hanger, washer, and pin. This is gonna be a little bit tough. Try to turn it sideways and then slide it down on there, clip it in. All right, so now what you wanna do is engage the mower deck. Engage your PTO arm and double check to make sure that you have your belt going through these guides. There's two in the front and around your pulleys as they should. And then even under here, if you have to take a flashlight and look into your covers and make sure that the, the belt is on your pulleys underneath the covers, make sure they're on before you go ahead and you, know, you run it. Now at this point, take the mower deck handle in the off position, put it in the off position so your tractor will start. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up. We'll do the tire pressure on it, level the deck out, take it out for a test run, and that's pretty much how you remove and install a 42-inch mower deck on a D125 John Deere. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe, share my channel with your friends, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.